Imagine swimming alongside a creature so colossal, it makes the modern great white shark look like a goldfish. Welcome to the world of the Megalodon. Picture this, a creature so large that it could easily dwarf a city bus. The Megalodon, whose name aptly translates to Big Tooth, was indeed a titan of the seas. With estimates of its length ranging from 50 to 60 feet, it was approximately three times the size of the largest great white shark recorded in modern history. To put it into perspective, it's like stacking three average-sized SUVs end-to-end. -end. That's a whole lot of shark! Imagine the jaw of this behemoth. It could easily open its mouth up to 7 feet wide and 11 feet high, wide enough to swallow two average-sized humans standing on top of each other, without so much as a nibble. And within that terrifying maw were rows upon rows of teeth, each one bigger than a human hand. Despite its colossal size, the megalodon was not sluggish. On the contrary, it was a highly efficient predator, capable of incredible bursts of speed. Its streamlined body, much like modern sharks, was built for swift, agile movements, allowing it to chase down and overpower its prey with ease. But when did this gigantic creature rule the seas? The Megalodon lived during the Cenozoic era, specifically from around 23 million to 3.6 million years ago. Back then, the oceans were teeming with a wide variety of marine life, providing a rich hunting ground for this apex predator. From the gigantic whales of the era to the now extinct sea cows, nothing was off the menu for the Megalodon. So, now that you have an idea of the sheer size of this prehistoric monster, let's dive into its history, starting from its existence. While the Megalodon may no longer roam the seas, its grandeur and formidable presence continue to capture our imagination, reminding us of a time when giants ruled the deep. The Megalodon didn't just appear out of nowhere, it was born out of an era brimming with life and danger. The birth of the Megalodon, this titan of the ocean, can be traced back to the Miocene epoch some 15 to 23 million years ago. Imagine a world where the continents were moving closer to their current positions, where the climate was warmer and the seas teemed with an abundance of life. This was the stage on which the Megalodon made its grand entrance. In this era, the world was a hotbed of evolutionary experimentation. The oceans were a swirling cauldron of life, filled with a variety of marine creatures, from the smallest plankton to the largest whales. The diversity of life was staggering and the competition for survival was intense. The ocean state at this time was conducive to the emergence of a predator like the Megalodon. With sea levels higher due to the warmer climate, there was ample space for this giant to roam. The abundance of large prey such as whales and sea cows provided the sustenance needed for the Megalodon to grow to its enormous size. Life in this era was not without its dangers though, alongside the Megalodon swam other formidable predators, including the giant white shark and the enormous sperm whale. The Megalodon had to fight for its place at the top of the food chain, a testament to its strength and resilience. This was a world where only the strongest survived, and the Megalodon was a testament to this brutal rule. Its evolution was driven by the need to dominate in a world filled with competitors, and its size and strength were its tools for survival. With such a vibrant and dangerous world, the Megalodon had to be tough to survive, but what was its life like? This titan of the ocean, born out of an era of danger and life, was a fascinating creature and its story is one that continues to captivate us to this day. The Megalodon was the undisputed king of the ocean, but what was life like for this giant? Well, let's dive into the deep and explore the fascinating world of the Megalodon. The life of a Megalodon was no walk in the park. It was a continuous battle for survival and supremacy in the vast uncharted territories of the deep sea. Being the largest predatory fish to have ever lived, the Megalodon's diet consisted primarily of large marine animals. Think colossal whales, giant squids, and even other sharks. Yes, you heard right, the Megalodon was a cannibal, often resorting to eating its kind when food was scarce. Now how did the Megalodon hunt? With a bite force estimated to be around 10 times that of a great white shark, the Megalodon was a formidable predator. Its hunting strategy was simple, yet effective. It would aim for the belly or the flippers of its prey, crippling it before going in for the kill. The Megalodon was a creature of the deep, preferring warmer waters. It was believed to have resided in coastal regions and continental shelf areas where food was abundant. With its powerful tail and streamlined body it could swim at great speeds, making it an efficient hunter in these environments. Interaction with other creatures? Well, the Megalodon was at the top of the food chain, a true apex predator. 
yet it shared the ocean with other formidable creatures like Liviatan, a massive, predatory whale. However, the Megalodon was so dominant that even these giants would have steered clear of it. So the Megalodon led a life of dominance, ruling the ocean with an iron fin. It was a relentless hunter, a cannibal, and a creature of the deep. Its life was a testament to the raw power and brutal beauty of nature. Being at the top of the food chain, the Megalodon lived a life of dominance, but nothing lasts forever. Even the mighty Megalodon couldn't escape the inevitability of extinction. It's a sobering thought, isn't it? This fearsome creature which once dominated the oceans, eventually fell prey to the relentless march of time and change. So, what caused the fall of the Megalodon? It's a complex puzzle but the pieces start to fit together, when we consider three crucial factors. Changing climate, competition, and loss of food sources. Firstly, the Earth's climate began to change. As the Pliocene epoch gave way to the Pleistocene epoch around 5 million years ago, the planet cooled significantly. This global cooling led to the formation of polar ice caps, which altered sea levels and currents. The warmer waters where the Megalodon thrived slowly disappeared, replaced by colder, less hospitable seas. Secondly, there was increased competition. The Megalodon was no longer the only big fish in the sea. Other large marine predators, such as the emerging species of killer whales, began to compete with the Megalodon for the same food resources. These new competitors were faster, more agile, and operated in coordinated groups, advantages that the solitary Megalodon couldn't match. Finally, the Megalodon's primary food source began to dwindle. As the Earth's climate changed, so did its ecosystems. Many of the large marine mammals that the Megalodon relied on for sustenance started to decline in numbers. Whether this was due to the changing climate or overhunting by the Megalodon itself is a matter of ongoing debate among scientists. These three factors combined created a perfect storm of sorts. The once mighty Megalodon found itself in a world that was increasingly inhospitable. It struggled to find enough food, to compete with new predators, and to adapt to colder waters. Over time these challenges proved insurmountable, and the Megalodon slowly but surely faded into extinction. And so the reign of the Megalodon came to an end, but what legacy did it leave behind? The Megalodon may be gone but it's far from forgotten. In the grand tapestry of life every creature no matter how big or small leaves its mark. The Megalodon, as one of the largest predators to ever roam the oceans, left an impact that can still be felt today. Its absence reshaped the marine ecosystem in ways that we're still trying to understand. The Megalodon's departure from the world stage allowed other species to flourish and evolve, reshuffling the hierarchy of the oceans and opening up new ecological niches. But the Megalodon's legacy extends beyond the boundaries of the natural world. It's carved out a place for itself in the realm of human culture and imagination. Its gargantuan size, its fearsome reputation, and the mystery surrounding its existence have made it a favorite subject among authors, filmmakers, and artists alike. From blockbuster movies to captivating novels, the Megalodon continues to thrill and terrify us, even from the depths of prehistory. And let's not forget the scientific community. Paleontologists and marine biologists are still piecing together the puzzle of the Megalodon's life, using the clues it left behind in the form of fossilized teeth and vertebrae. Each discovery adds another piece to the picture, allowing us to better understand this majestic creature and the world it once inhabited. The Megalodon story also serves as a reminder of the delicate balance of life on our planet. Its rise to dominance, its reign as the king of the seas, and its eventual extinction are all testament to the ever-changing nature of life on Earth. It's a stark reminder that even the mightiest can fall, and that our actions today can have far-reaching effects on the future. From its humble beginnings to its tragic end, the Megalodon remains one of the most fascinating creatures in our planet's history. Its legacy continues to ripple through time, touching our lives in more ways than we might realize. And as long as we continue to tell its story, the Megalodon will never truly be gone. The story of the Megalodon is a testament to the power and unpredictability of nature. This colossal creature, a titan of the deep, was as awe-inspiring as it was formidable. Born in an era of giants, the Megalodon grew to sizes that dwarf even the largest of modern sharks. Its lifestyle was one of a relentless predator, ruling the ocean depths with unrivaled power. Yet, despite its might, the Megalodon fell to extinction. Its downfall serves as a stark reminder of the ever-changing course of nature and the delicate balance of life. But even in its absence, the Megalodon left an indelible mark on our planet. 
Its legacy lives on, echoing through the ages in the form of fossils and captivating our imagination with tales of its reign. Thanks for joining us on this journey through time. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our channel for more intriguing content. Until next time, keep exploring the mysteries of our planet.